Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, some of you watched my video on docile African cichlids. And the uh, video got a pretty good response, and I thank you for watching it. And this is a follow-up, and uh, this video is the uh, not docile African cichlids. <laughs> and again, this is based on my experience, fish that I have uh, personally owned. And uh, I'm going to share with you the five that I think uh, if you're looking for a tank that is uh, pretty peaceful, doesn't wake you up at night, at night with splashing and, uh, and doesn't surprise you with uh, you know, a, a fish that is suddenly shredded and has a lot of fin damage, uh, these, are, are, these are not uh, fish for the faint hearted. These are not fish for folks that uh, want to have a relatively docile African cichlid tank. So let's go ahead and get right into it. These are the five not docile African cichlids that I would not recommend for somebody who wants a calmer, more peaceful tank. If this is your first time to the channel and uh, you haven't already done so, and you like to be learning all the time and getting new ideas about keeping fish, why not hit that bell and uh, hit that sub button and that way you'll get, um, you'll get notifications when I upload new material. So let's go ahead and jump right into the list. And uh, at number five, I have a tie between two fish. And uh, these two fish were from my early, early uh, cichlid keeping career. And uh, they were both uh, Mabuna. And uh, one of them was uh, a Pseudotrophius that put on a lot of size Beautiful fish, had great color. Uh, the video I have of that fish from way back on my YouTube channel doesn't do him justice. But um, he was uh, sharing the tank with uh, a fish that is tied for the number five position, and that is the Oratus. So the Pseudotrophius Mapanga and the Oratus hold the number five position for fish I would not recommend uh, for an, an African cichlid tank if you want it to be relatively peaceful. Both of these fish uh, became very territorial. Both of them put on a lot of bulk and size. Uh, they're, they're mostly all head and jaw and uh, kind of an armored head and uh, they're sort of built for battle and uh, once they pick out a spot in the tank, it's theirs and anyone that comes close to it is gonna be in trouble. Also during feeding times, they, they would uh, become very aggressive, uh, scaring off other fish, not letting those fish eat. And uh, so it became a very, very big problem and I was eventually forced to have to rehome them. In the, um, in the number four position, I have a type of fish, these are cousins, they're peacocks, they're considered peacocks, and uh, they're cousins, the lemon jake and the otter point. These are both beautiful fish, actually some of my favorites, but I have found that they can be very, very nippy and uh, are always uh, you know, displaying their fins and, and you know, spreading out and challenging other fish. And uh, once they select a section in the tank, whether it be a, uh, you know, a small rock or a plant or something, and they claim it, uh, they will circle that area and uh, will not let any other fish near that area. And this was in tanks where I had all male, all male fish. I can only imagine if there were females in there, they would have gone completely crazy. They're smaller as far as uh, fish go, but yet uh, they have an attitude that makes up for it and they'll chase and uh, be aggressive uh, towards any fish, any size. And um, I've watched the lemon jake I have now chase, you know, the deep water Electra, the, um, you know, the, the hawk, uh, you know, the, that lemon jake has no fear. And so um, not a fish I would recommend, very similar in temperament to like your tiger barbs, uh, you know, fish like that, uh, just very nippy and um, not a fish I would keep in a tank that I wanted to have somewhat peaceful. In the... Uh, in the number three spot, I have to give that spot to, um, to Venusus. I've had different kinds of Venusus, and like most fish, they, they come with their own personality and their own temperament. And I, I'm fortunate right now that I have a uh, Venusus that is mellow, is the tank boss, breaks fights up, 
and uh, is you know in charge but not crazy. But I have had crazy Venusis. They grow very quickly. They put on a lot of weight, a lot of bulk very, very quickly. And so uh, if you want to try a Venusis in your tank, let your other fish become comfortable and get bigger and then get a smaller one and let them uh, sort of grow up uh, in a subdominant position. Doesn't mean that they're not going to at some point have that switch that flips in the little brains of cichlids and, and become very, very aggressive. But a Venusis has to be, has to be on the list. And uh, you can roll the dice. Maybe you'll get lucky like I did with the one I have now. Uh, number, number two on my list. Number two on my list is the eye biter. The eye biter I have right now is a 24-7 uh, attitude. And if I didn't have the Venusis keeping, uh, keeping him in check, I'm not really sure what he would do. He would probably have all the fish corralled to one side. Uh, he chases uh, anyone he can, uh, including the uh, much larger uh, trout that I have in the tank. And uh, he, does, he does stay clear of the Venusis and has tried to challenge him a couple times. And at one point got over on him, but the Venusis was able to uh, win the spot back but uh, certainly a fish to consider uh, on the list and uh, holding the number two position as a fish I would not recommend based on personal experience uh, as, a, you know, as a peaceful fish is, uh, is the eye biter. Now, as a side note, fish that are hybrids, and I say this because I've seen hybrid eye biters and I can only imagine the uh, the circuitry in that brain, uh, how <laughs> I've seen uh, the, uh, you know, the OB, the OB eye biters. They're beautiful uh, between the shape and the blotches on the body. They're gorgeous fish. And if you have some, I'd, I'd love to hear what your experience has been with them. But usually, in my experience, the hybrids uh, tend to be a little bit more on the crazy side. I have been lucky with OBs, but I have had a couple um, a couple albinos that just went nuts and I had to uh, I had to get rid of them so um, just as a side note watch out for hybrids and in particular watch out for OBs which can have I believe Mabuna blood in them and certainly a Mabuna and an eye biter mix uh, to me would be uh, you know something that came out of the devil's workshop so <laughs> just watch it if you've got one of those and uh, believe it or not uh, the number one on my list, which is probably going to surprise you, is the uh, is a protomelis. You know, we, we usually don't uh, classify or consider protomelis as our more aggressive African cichlids, but I have a fire hap in the tank behind me that is a 24/7 jerk. Anyone who is even remotely sim uh, similar to him is going to get uh, you know a can of uh, whoop ass uh, and. Uh, he chased the, uh, the, the Red Empress out of the tank. I had to move the Red Empress to the 100. And I'm about to move the, the uh, Borlei Quad out of here as well because he's just relentless. He doesn't stop. He doesn't want them anywhere in the tank. He doesn't mess with fish that are shaped uh, or colored differently. He, he, doesn't, he certainly doesn't mess with the number one and number two spot, the Venusis and the Eye Biter. But he does chase around the much larger trout uh, he he uh, messes with the Fusco, which is surprising, being a Nimbochromis. So, um, you know, certainly a, a, a fish that has surprised me in its level of aggressiveness. He gets a wink, he gets a bit of a pass because he's so beautiful. If he wasn't that beautiful but had that attitude, I probably, probably would have rehomed him already. But uh, Protomelis, don't let the diet, I know they need a little bit of vegetables and stuff, don't think that because they're partially vegetarian that they're docile. <laughs> Doesn't, doesn't apply. They are uh, very, very aggressive. And I also have had, I mean, look, look at your VC-10s, your Taiwan reefs, uh, your tangerine tigers, your imperial tigers, uh, even your, um, uh, you know, even the, even the red empresses, when they get large enough, they can be aggressive. They can be very, very mean and territorial. So at any rate, that is my list. Uh, what's your list? What do you consider to be the uh, most aggressive fish that you have had personal experience with? I'd like to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, be sure to share it. 
and uh, be sure to hit that bell and uh, hit that sub button if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. And don't forget, we have a great Facebook group with a lot of helpful fish keepers there at Ben O apostrophe Cichlid. And if you still can't get enough, follow me on Instagram at ben.o.cichlid for behind the scenes uh, information and pictures and things of that nature, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. You are appreciated. I will see you next time.